In tonight's On the Red Carpet Report, 16-time Grammy winner David Foster is busy putting together a one-night-only event. He'll be celebrating his 75th birthday with some of his famous friends. He's doing it with a special concert at the Hollywood Bowl. Entertainment guru George Pinocchio talks with Foster about what he's got planned. David Foster can count singing as one of his skills, but if you ask the celebrated composer and famed music producer what he really does, he brings it much more down to earth. I'd just like to say that I, I'm actually just a piano player and I, I think I maximize what a piano player can do. Foster is getting ready to play his piano at the Hollywood Bowl to celebrate his 75th birthday. His singer wife, Catherine McPhee, and some famous friends will be joining him for this once-in-a-lifetime concert, including many he's worked with over the years, like Josh Groban. I let you go, I let you fly. There's at least four names on that list that could fill the Hollywood Bowl themselves, let alone with the four of them. You know, when you talk about Josh Groban and, and Andrea Bocelli and Michael Bublé and Jennifer Hudson, uh, Kristen Chenoweth, I think, has filled the bowl. Uh, Charlie Puth, they're, they're just amazing artists. Foster says he wants the night to be a celebration, just not for him. No birthday cake necessary. I just want people to enjoy great music that I've had a hand in, and and uh, that that would just definitely suffice. And, and that's not just uh, hyperbole, you know, that that's for real. Over the years, Foster has worked with some greats, Celine Dion, Whitney Houston, Natalie Cole. And for fans of St. Elmo's Fire, he wrote the film's love theme. <music> Tickets for Foster's show go on sale Friday with the big night set for November 3rd. I think people come to the bowl wanting to have a nice, easy evening. And it yeah. sounds like... That's what you're going to give us. I, I think you're absolutely right. And it is iconic, as we said. And, and uh, I'd be in the audience if I didn't want to be up there trying to make sure that it could be the best show possible. Foster is already at work on the show. He expects some magic to happen on that famous stage. George Pinocchio, ABC7 Eyewitness News. It's going to be some show. No kidding.